When you imagine the robots of the future, what do you picture? If you haven't noticed, evolution of biological life has done a pretty good job at making things perfectly equipped to interact with our world. And now, robotics is starting to follow suit in an emerging field called soft robotics. The main characteristic of a soft robot is that, well, it's soft. Instead of traditional materials, the body is constructed out of rubber, polymers, and sometimes even fabric. But it's harder to adapt the components that make the bot move, like the actuators. These have to be radically rethought for soft bots, since traditional robots tend to use electric motors that are difficult to downsize. So instead, some use hydraulics or pneumatics to push air or water through the soft body parts in a way that creates predictable motion. We're looking at using soft robotic systems to manipulate the lunar and Mars surface materials to help further the development of human habitation on the surface. A soft robot is a mechanical system that is flexible and compliant and not a standard hard or rigid system. Soft Robotics is a program that we've been working on in the lab for a little bit over a year now. And what we've done is to basically look to nature for inspiration and specifically organisms like octopi and, and squid, soft organisms, with the idea that these robots would have advantages in terms of manipulation, maneuverability, fabrication, cost, over the traditional hard robots that most people are familiar with. One of the remarkable things that they can do is they can actually change their color and their appearance, and, and they do this to signal one another to blend in with their environment. We again drew on these organisms as inspiration and decided that it was actually a pretty uh, logical evolution to try and include some of these aspects in our robots. But you can also use these soft robotics within the spacesuit to give them more power to lift, more power to run, more power to walk, and ease the workload on an astronaut for longer EVA in space. What makes all of these robots so promising is the way they easily adapt to new tasks and environments. Unlike traditional robots that would need to be frequently modified or reprogrammed, this also means they have a ton of applications. They could one day be used in rescue missions that require squeezing through small spaces and traversing over rugged terrain. Or these soft biocompatible robots could be used inside your body for medical diagnosis and treatment. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised it's taken us this long to start making soft robots. I mean, when you look at animals, which are debatably the best examples we have for adapting to new environments, they're pretty much all soft. Humans ourselves are less than 15% rigid material. But I suppose biological evolution did take millions of years. And to be fair, robot evolution has only just begun. To keep up with the latest soft robot updates, subscribe. Thanks for watching.